if you look at the front of any bank card what you'll see is a long number and this long number is called the primary account number and that consists of three main components so the first is the issuer identification number and that identifies both the car brand so in this specific case we have American Express and it also identifies the bank or the issuer then there is the account number itself which identifies the account holder so in this case myself and then finally you have one digit on the end of the primary account number which is used as a checksum and this is created by taking the preceding digits and passing that through the LUN algorithm. So that simply checks the validity of the card number itself. So how does this relate to the Magstripe? So the Magstripe contains up to up to three tracks of information. For bank cards, track one and track two are the most commonly present. Track three was initially intended to be dynamically updated. And the reason why it's important to understand what the front of the card looks like, so coming back to this example, and what the primary account number is made up of, and the cardholder information, is because much of this information is also represented on the track one and track two. So the, the main difference is that when you look at the electronic information on track one and track two, you will tend to find a little bit more information. So typically you'll find something called discretionary data. Now when this information is sent electronically, it passes through the card networks and eventually reach, reaches the issuer. The issuer will use this information and check it against known information in a database to determine whether they should go ahead and authorize that specific payment. Perhaps you're wondering why I would explain this and how it relates to modern payment technologies such as chip inserted transactions and contactless. Well, the thing is track one and track two are still present for both contactless, so that's NFC enabled cards, and for chip inserted transactions. What they're called is track one equivalent and track two equivalent. And in fact, they are quite similar to their predecessors. So those present on the back of the Magstripe. So it's really important to understand how this information is built up over time. So we're working from the front of the card. That's the initial information that identifies the account holder and it identifies the issuer and the card brand. That information is then translated into information on the back of the Magstripe, plus some additional information such as the card security code and discretionary data. And then this is also present within electronic transactions for NFC and for chip inserted.